I cannot believe it's already been three whole months since our last camo fitness video. But it has been worth the wait. They are here hitting us with these hot drops. Do you remember three months ago in February when we did the Valentine's Day collection launch? I was very impressed with the new pieces that they've been coming out with. This collection, the court collection, is no different. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about Camo Fitness's brand new court collection that's dropping May 5th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a real healthy variety of brand new pieces. They're also dropping a new fabric into the mix and a color palette that's suitable for everybody. Thank you so much to Camo Fitness for sponsoring today's video and sending all these pieces out my way for my review. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite pieces from this camo drop. And of course, if you have any questions about the other pieces, always feel free to comment down below, I got you. Over here you can check out my measurements. Do keep in mind everything in today's video is in my true size small. You can also find my measurements down below as well. I also have a 5% off discount code if you use Ashley at checkout that will save you 5% off your order and it does help support this channel. And I know you guys are waiting so patiently for that Define video. That's such a highly requested video. We did order the pieces, still waiting on them. Pretty sure they got held up in customs because it has been almost three Three weeks at least. Actually tomorrow Bay and I leave to go down to South Carolina for a week. So when we get back, if it's here, we will get into filming ASAP. So I appreciate your patience with that, but have no worries. It is still coming. You can still expect it. Let's check out the color palette, shall we? We have Loden Frost, Gardenia, Paproise. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh my God. Peach Bud, Skyway, Black Iris, Java Brown, and Black. Now black iris and black, those are different. Black iris is more of a purpley blue, almost navy blue, but with a little bit of more purple in it. And black is black. <laughs> Now every piece is not necessarily dropping in all of these colors. So in the court collection, they're dropping two different tight fit shorts, the Featherlight Enhanced six inch and the Featherlight Enhanced four inch. Same thing, just different waistbands and different inseams. They're also launching some sweat shorts, the Cozy Tech sweat shorts. Oh man, now we finally have something to go with the Cozy Tech hoodie pieces that they dropped last launch. We have two different sports bras dropping, the Sienna and the Isla. Three different tops are launching. The Isla short sleeve top, the Aria rib tank top bra, and the Aria rib waist length tank top. And last but not least, they are launching a court dress. We have some active dresses. I'm so excited. If you guys watch my videos, you know I really love when they launch their bodysuits. Huge fan of Camo's bodysuits. So now we have active dresses to play with. By the way, I did want to touch base. I know I'm getting a lot of comments about my voice. In the past couple of videos, I know my voice has sounded lower. I'm getting a lot of people asking if I'm sick. Not that I know of. I really just thought it was allergies, but it's been going on for a hot minute. I don't know if I'm just going through puberty or something. I figure maybe it's the microphone since we always drop it relentlessly when we try to set up our equipment. Maybe, maybe something got shaken up there and now I'm down a few octaves. Testing, testing. Do I sound lower? How low? Can you go? Yeah, that's my microphone. I don't treat it very well. So there's a good chance that something's effed up in there. We need to take a second to go over this feather light material. This is what they wrote down on the brief. Our newest fabric designed to elevate your workout experience. Made from premium quality materials, this ultra soft fabric offers a cloud-like feel against your skin, allowing you to move freely and comfortably during your exercise routine. Feather Light's, <clears throat> Feather Light's lightweight design provides the perfect balance between comfort and support, ensuring that you feel as light as a feather while you work up a sweat. The unique texture and the fabric also helps to wick away moisture, keeping you feeling cool and dry throughout your workout. Now clearly they said workout quite a few times, which leads me to believe this collection's meant to be worked out in. So smart. Let's first chat about the new sports bras that are launching. So like I said, we have the Sienna and the Isla. The Sienna and I, we're getting along so freaking nicely. This is the peach bud color that I'm wearing right now. The Isla sports bra had a really cool look to it. You had almost a corset style where it looked like an underwire, that real thick seam contour underneath the bust. I like the overall design, but when wearing it, the straps were just 
way too long. There was no adjustments, so I really couldn't do much with that bra. I tried playing around with it, putting it over my neck, doing a little crisscross, that was cute, but it started to bunch. It just isn't meant for that. So if you have your eye on that specific piece, I would highly suggest sizing down at least once. But the bra that I am sold on is the Sienna bra. This is reminding me of their last launch. They came out with really cute, low support, strappy sports bras. You know me, I love that. Now, strangely enough, this sports bra does not have any adjustments either, but fit hella different. This bra specifically is reminding me so much of the Gymshark Training Ruched Bra. You do have that ruched stitching right in the center. The straps cross in the back. Overall, very thin. I mean, even the back, there's really no built-in band. It's just a seam underneath. Again, very low support. You do have removable bra pads. I think if you're in between with this one, you're gonna wanna size down. I worked out in this bra a few times. It is very, very comfortable. I love that it doesn't dig anywhere. It doesn't interrupt my flow. The only thing is, is because it's so low, you're limited to what you can do in this, at least for me. I mean, I'm not sitting here jumping up and down in this. There's no way, I can't run in this. I mean, I, granted, I can't run in general, forget it. It's a really nice, lightweight summer bra to wear. It's very soft. While we're here, let's just cover all the tops. So my favorite from this collection has to go to the Aria rib. They're ultra comfortable. They have that cooling feeling to them, cool to the touch. And I feel like they could go with absolutely anything. You got a little peekaboo on the front, right? Really good for the cleavage. The crossover lay is very unique with this piece. They even have it right on the back. The stitching is a little crossed over. You do have a built-in bra. Do keep in mind that color palette though. You have way more options in the cropped bra than the full length. So if you want a little more coverage at the gym, more of a crop top rather than a bra, these could totally work for the gym. If you're in between size down, these could tend to run a little bit big, get bulky in some areas. There's a lot of forgiving room, so you can size down. Now the Isla short sleeve top, it fit me a little awkwardly right around the arms. It was way too small. I would suggest sizing up in that one. The Isla short sleeve and the Isla bra have the same exact design under the under bust. With that being said, I think if I sized up, those could totally work. So if I'm picking between the tops, I gotta go with those Aria pieces. As you can see, I pretty much stocked up on the Cozy Tech shorts because I love their Cozy Tech collection. <laughs> if you're looking for a really comfortable pair of sweat shorts, these are it. So with the colors, I have pretty much one of everything just to give you an idea of what type of tones these are. I mean, I'm really loving this green color. This is reminding me of the Whitney green. Alphalete just launched amplifying this color. So now I can mix and match and play around. These sweat shorts are very true to size. My small is perfect. If you're in between, I would suggest sizing up because there's not a ton of groin room, if you know what I mean. If you size down, I do feel like you would start to feel it right in this region. Nobody likes or wants that. What I really like about these shorts, you have a full on plush lining. So don't get it twisted. This is not something I'm wearing to the beach. I'm not gonna play around in sand and then put these on. Perfect for lounging. You have two pockets. The scrunched band is a really nice look. You don't have an annoying draw cord floating around. It's just the perfect relaxed sweatshorts in my opinion. And I also have to mention that the logos here are embroidered as they should be. We need to start talking about these feather light shorts that you've been eyeing in the back here. I gotta go ahead and say it. They put in a built-in scrunch. <laughs> It's discreet, you wouldn't even detect it. It's internal. They used a tonal elastic band for the scrunch. Here it is. You can see it stretches like a rubber band. I don't feel it when I move or when I squat down. You can see the curves. It does a slight glute separation, but nothing too intense. It's a very natural way to enhance the glutes. I think they really nailed it with these shorts. I've been seeing a lot of brands using this technique with putting an elastic band on the inside of the glute seam rather than a scrunch on the outside of the seam. I'm slowly just falling in love with these types of designs because it's undetectable. Nobody knows. Nobody knows you're getting assistance back there. No one. A couple things I do wanna note, the feather light material, yes, extremely lightweight. There's pros and cons in that. The beautiful thing is it feels like you're wearing nothing. Who doesn't love to feel naked? Extremely comfortable, all day wear comfort. Very easy to move around in, to stretch. I can see why they're very gym focused with these shorts. With that being said, the very light, light colors, 
they're not fully squat proof on me. The darker you go, the better though. There is a little bit of a shine when you come to a deep squat. With this light of material also comes lack of compression. Now for me, I prefer that. But keep in mind, if you're somebody who prefers a lot of support in the waistband, around the glutes, this isn't gonna do that for you. This is more of just a very lightweight workout type of short. I noticed less thigh cinch with the six inch, which is why I go towards that one. I performed the sweat test on the lightest peach bud color and one of the darkest black iris colors. You couldn't even see the sweat on the black iris. That navy blue, you're good. So if you sweat, go towards that navy navy blue and that black. Let's close the show with some new active dresses. I honestly think that my favorite out of all of these, these two, I can't decide between these two. Probably navy actually. I feel like this is more nautical. I can get away with wearing it down the beach this summertime. So let's chat about these dresses. We have a non-adjustable dress. The contour goes around the bust and curves inward down the body. This does have a built-in bra, love it. Built-in shorts as well as it should. Very comfortable, very stretchy dress. My only downfall to this, if I had to really pick apart this dress, the one and only thing that could get annoying after a while is when I'm walking around, especially if you're bending, moving around, the back tends to ride up slowly. It's not terrible, but I do notice myself having to pull it down. I think if you have bigger glutes, this is more likely to happen. I'm not saying I have big glutes. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, okay? Clearly I'm doing something right if this rides up a little bit. In fact, when you're just standing, you can see that the material's a bit short in the back as it is. Other than that, I think this is an overall very comfortable dress. The shorts are not digging in. The bra is super comfy. I would say stick to your true size. If riding up is an issue, then and only then would I suggest sizing up. But I did feel like there was a little bit of material left here and there. But then again, this is a casual fit. It is not meant to be the skin tight dress. All right guys, so those were my favorite pieces that are launching in the new Camo Court Collection. Again, that's launching May 5th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you so much, I appreciate you being here. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video.